Finally, that freaking stupid song's over. All right, guys. Hi, I'm Sarah from One Nine Zero, and I am pleased to announce my presence here. I'm so happy that you're here with me in my channel, and I'm so excited today, guys, because I have an epic tutorial for you. Now, if you don't want people getting into your bat cave, I know how to keep them out. I do. Now, look, guys. It's very simple, very cool. So look how many buttons there are. No matter which buttons, you can press every single one of these buttons and still not get in, guys. That door is never gonna open for you. Ever. Never, never. Only if you know which button to press. So when people come along, they may open the door, but they will not have time to get in. It's just not gonna work. Unless you press the right button and wait. And bang, I'm in, guys. Did you see that? So people won't know what's going on. They won't know if it's a, a combination charm in lock or anything how many buttons nothing so they will never get in guys so if you want to build it all you need is a block of choice redstone dust a comparator a repeater repeater a repeater a repeat and you want a button and a door lots of hoppers okay because hoppers mean more time so the longer the hopper circuit the longer the timing you got so bring out some block of choice like this you can go as long as you want or as short as you desire guys it's really up to you. The more buttons, the better, the more confusing. And don't forget which button you actually pick. So pick a button you want to be the activator button. You can call it the Seraphim activator button, because it's my design, guys. I came up with this in my own brain space. I didn't watch any tutorials. Anyway, so that's why it's epic. And there you go, guys. This is one of my own builds. I do do a lot of other people's builds, but this one's <laughs> And guys, what you do is you put a dropper facing out, and you want all the hoppers connected from the side and back around, back, backity, back into the back, into the front of this dropper. And when you put a item of choice inside and press the button, the right button, that one, it will circulate. That item will circulate right back into it. So get a comparator out here, guys, and make sure it's facing out so that when you do pass that item through, it will activate that repeater. I mean the comparator very quickly, see? Very cool. Now you need a repeater here, guys, in front of that comparator, just to give it a little bit more power. Break all this out away. And bring out your redstone like this and bend it down. Down and around. And up again to town. Into another comparator, guys, where you want your door. So put a block in front of that comparator. It will send charge into your door. So let's move that door here. And that's it, guys. This is the absolute ultimate build. No one's going to get in, trust me, guys. It could take them hours and hours before they work it out. So let's... I'll show you why again. So let's build up this wall. This hallway is... This long hallway is very important because it's the timing device, see? So I can press, again, any button. The door may open and shut because of the redstone behind them tricking your people friends and they'll run up to the door and think oh crap I can't get in the door will keep slamming shut on their face no matter what no matter what guys it's just never gonna let them in unless they know exactly what button to press alright so let's press the exact right button I think it's uh, this one yes no it's not long enough guys so if this is happening to you all you need to do is extend your hoppers so let's bring them out about three more. You could even put that repeater over there on more ticks as well. You can put it up to four ticks. Should give you a little bit more time. Make sure your hoppers reach to where your door is. See how long it is? It's about the same length as it takes to run. So when I press it and run, I get to the door. Wait a second. Bang, it's open, guys, and I'm in! And that's how it's done. Obviously, you want to be able to get out of your back cave, so you put a button there and press it. You walk out. And the door will shut automatically, guys. And if you want to confuse people just a little bit more, you can build out some more like this. Add some more buttons, make it a hell of a lot more complicated, guys. Now it will take five hours to work out. It's just going to take forever for anybody to... And there we go, guys. So I can get in and out whenever I feel, whenever I choose to. Okay? So, um, yeah, the buttons are very complicated right now. Uh, you have to press the right one, get to the door, and wait and I pressed the wrong button. So yeah guys, I've forgotten which button's which. Here's some- And there we have it. 
Well, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video and I truly hope that I remain in your hearts for the rest of the world's time that you have here in the universe. So guys, again, I can get out if I choose to. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? Alright guys, I'm out. See you later.